Now bring the freshness of the outdoors into your... About Barry's condition? He's out of surgery, but still unconscious. Well, did he say when Barry might recover his consciousness? No. But Ryan is staying there so he can question Barry thoroughly. Home sweet home. Rachel, oh, hi. I was so Ooh. worried about you. Oh, are you all right? We are now. Jake took real good care of me. Oh, Jake, thank you, sweetie. How are you feeling? <sighs> it's good to be home. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. <gasps> My goodness, I'm so glad to see you home. I never would have believed that I would be this happy to see you. <laughs> what are you going to do, Iris? Hug me? <laughs> well, yes. If you'll let me. No. First things first. Is that for? I don't know how, but you were up to your elbows on our wilderness vacation, Iris. Well, Lena, what do you know that I don't? I had nothing to do with your kidnapping, nothing. Barry was on your payroll, Iris. We know that for sure. But I, n I never ordered him to harm either of you. I, I swear on that with my life. So, so you must be Paulina. How'd you do? And you, of course, the Jack. Oh? Oh, no, 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 that's right. It's Jake, isn't it? Yes. I'm told that the two of us have met before, but, you know, I have no recollection of such a meeting. This is precious. Yes. They've said some terrible things about you. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems to me this man has a very kind face. And you, my dear, despite your aggression towards my dear Iris, I'm glad to see you home safe and sound. He really doesn't remember us. Ron didn't tell you about the amnesia? Oh, he told us, but seeing it is... You wouldn't be faking it, would you? Why, you too. Well, you all think I'm capable of that? Capable? Carl, you're the master. This isn't helpful, Jane. Am I misbehaving already? You know, she can be very, very bossy, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of questions to ask you guys. Fire away. Okay. If you'll excuse the expression, Iris. Why don't we sit down? So where did you and Paulina go after Carl was shot? We followed Iris to the airport after she left the chapel, where we heard a very enlightening conversation she had with Barry. Sorry for the eavesdropping, Iris, but under the circumstances, I'm sure you understand. Well, if you heard anything, you would have known that Barry was torturing me, too. You weren't knocked out, drugged, and dropped in the middle of nowhere, were you, Iris? Really? All that happened? Well, that sounds barbaric. Tell me exactly what you heard, Jake. Barry said that if... Carl made it through the surgery that they would take care of him later. And that Iris was a wreck, and it would be a shame if she committed suicide. Oh. What? That's charming, isn't it? He, th he thought I was going to kill myself? That's what he said right before he hit me with the hypo. I had nothing to do with that either. Believe me, I've been sick with worry like everybody else. I'm worried about getting caught, you mean? Why is it that nobody except this man without any memory believes anything that I say? Would you stop playing innocent, Iris? You're the one that got the ball rolling in the first place. Barry wanted me dead. You said that yourself. So, Jake, did Barry tell you? Who pulled the trigger? I think that only Iris knows for sure. Oh, this is great. What's that look? Oh, they've been keeping secrets for a few days now. So, Iris, if you know something, if you know that Barry pulled the trigger, why don't you just tell us? Oh, she doesn't know at all. I'm sorry, Dummy. I really am. But, you know, I can't bear all this intrigue, all this finger-pointing when I know all the answers. Carl, no! Know what? Tell me, Carl. Well, Iris shot me. Excuse me? Yeah. I mean, she told me so herself. Protecting her, she almost killed you. Wait a minute, back up. What, what, what's this about, darling? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. 
You wanted Carl gone, Iris. Now you're using this phony concern to whitewash what you did. I only wanted to stop the wedding. Well, shooting the groom would do that. That wasn't what I meant to do. It was an accident. An accident? Yeah, I was frightened. I was frightened for all of us, Rachel. So you took the gun that was in my purse, the gun that Carl gave me for my protection against the threats that you started, and you shot him? Well, Barry w arranged it. He, he was supposed to make sure that the bullets were blanks. I didn't mean for this whole thing to spin out of control like it did. Yes. Yes, and I believe her. Blanks? What? You were trying to scare us or something? You pointed it directly at his heart. Iris, how did that happen? I, I knew... ...that the bullets were blanks, and so I just... And I promise... I pointed it... sustain you throughout the covenant. Straight in his heart. All that I am... And I pulled yours. the trigger. All that I have is yours. All that I will ever will be... ...is yours. He almost died. And you ran. <laughs> no. I had to find Barry. I had to find why he gave me those real bullets. Then, then why didn't you turn him in, Iris? There were police everywhere. Because he had the gun. It had my fingerprints all over it. He said if I implicated him, then he would turn me into the police and tell them that I pulled the trigger. Which you did. So you were trying to save yourself once again. I wasn't trying to save myself. I told Barry I didn't care what happened to me. He said if I didn't play it his way, then I would never see Paulina again. And that broke your heart. I just had to play along with him, and I did. I didn't say anything until I was sure I knew what had happened to you. That has to be the lamest excuse I've ever heard. <laughs> well, I don't care how lame it is, Jake. It's the truth. I saw what Barry was capable of, and I was scared. I was frightened for you, and I was frightened for Paulina. I did everything. I did anything to... until I found out what had happened to you and where you were. So what am I supposed to do with this information now? I don't know, I guess... I just have to try and make it up to you. You're pathetic, Iris. Just pathetic. I shall, I shall always stay by you, Iris. Rachel, what did I miss? My amnesia. You must be pulling your hair out. No, I might be on that now. Don't you feel much better now that the, the air's been cleared? Better. Better? Do you realize that Rachel's probably in there calling the police to have me arrested? Hardly better. I'm speaking to the devil. I would like to talk to Carl. Alone, please. Of course. Iris, wait. Wait. Oh, forget it, Carl. Look, I never met him any harm, but I really think he's more impossible now than he ever was. What? Now what? What do you mean, now what? I'm trying to figure out what it could have been that drew the two of us together in the first place. Oh. Yes, I'm having a little bit of trouble with that myself recently. I've tried to explain all of that to you. It's very difficult for me to believe you don't have an inkling about what's going on. Yes, well, it's very difficult for me, too. You see, sometimes there's a little glimmer, there's a... 
there's a, an intensity, a, a, f a vulnerability. But you hide from the world, don't you? You're the one in hiding now. Oh, yes, always a smart, ready answer for everything. No, not for this. One minute it's fiery, the next minute it's witty, and now it'll be compassionate. Ah, she's not dumb either. She's not dumb either? Was that the phrase? Is this guaranteed to try and make me go softly on Iris? <laughs> It's in the police's hands now. No. Yes. No, Rachel, not yes. the police. Actually, that's Ryan now. No, 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 Rachel. Ryan? Yes, did you get my message? Yes, Iris is still here. Oh, no. Yes, absolutely. Yes, thank you for telling me. Right, bye. Well, Rachel, what is it? I'm afraid Barry might not make it. Well, he, he has to. He's my, he's my alibi. He's the only one who knows I'm telling the truth. Yes, well, it doesn't look very good. But he has to confess. He has to admit that he used me. Damn it! Where are you, Where you going? going? I'm... Get out of my way! Iris. I'm going to clear my name! She said she was going off to clear her name, but... Well, somehow, I, I expect she'll be back by now. Well, perhaps Iris gave you the details, Carl, and you've conveniently forgotten them. My loss of memory may be... Felicia. Yes. Would me a few dollars on a short-term basis. They tell me I'm good for it. Well, I would love to, Carl, but I'm kind of tap city right now. As a matter of fact, you, you knew that before you went to New York and you promised that you were going to give me all your money. Did I? Half your money. Will you stop? Jake! Carl, I will take you to the bank in the morning. You can cash a check there. The manager does all your Corey business. But, Paulina, I am not a Corey. You're the head of Corey Publishing. I'm what? You didn't know? No. No, I was told I was, uh, I was somewhat successful in business, but... But I'm, a, I'm the head of Corey Publishing. Chairman of the board. <sighs> well, how did I reach such lofty heights? I... Rachel wanted you to have the job. Even though some people objected, she trusted you to take care of our family's business. She believed in you, Carl. How Rachel did that? For me? She loves you very much. Thank you for this information. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doctor. I, I didn't know I was badly needed. There's something to realize what's at stake here. Doctor. Doctor, please. Keep it brief. Okay, Barry, take your time. We're listening. What happened to Hodgins? Jake. And the broad. He means Paulina. It was. He's lying. 
Why would he be lying, Iris? He's dying right now. Why would he lie? Because he's a weasel. Now, you listen to me, you weasel. What are you trying to do? Are you still setting me up? Is this some kind of revenge? Is that it? He's trying to go on, Iris. Let him go on. I want it. Blanks. And the gun. <gasps> Scare hot. Jake? You're lying. It's all lies. Now listen to me. You're telling the truth out there. I'm going to pull out every one of these Come things. On, Iris, Iris, that's him. No, Iris, not until he confessed. He has no. confessed. Cyrus. Rachel, Rachel, please, don't you give up on me. As threatened as you've been by Carl and me, I never dreamed Mackenzie Corey's daughter would ever do something this evil. But I didn't do it. Barry set me up, he framed me. Iris Wheeler, you're under arrest. What? No, 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 Ryan, you've got to understand that the bullets, they were, they were, they were supposed to be blanks. Well, then why did you aim it right at Carl? Because I, I just, I, I wanted to scare him. Iris, all these weeks you've been lying, lying about your innocence, and this is a lie too now, is it? Actually, Iris, you don't have to answer that. Iris Wheeler, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I, I, I don't want to go to jail. I didn't do it. Barry used me, and now I'll never know why. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Iris certainly doesn't need one. This is a terrible misunderstanding. Because of you that my father is wandering around this town right now with no clue as to who he actually is. How many times do I have to tell you I just wanted to stop the wedding? See you at the arraignment, Iris. Rachel, this whole fiasco, it's, it's, it's been a huge mistake. It's over, Iris. I don't, I don't belong here. I didn't murder anyone. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I've heard that again and again from you, and I've forgiven it over and over again. But you have so many judges. You could use your influence. Are you joking? Any night. No, no. I'd, I'd, I'd be very good. I'd go straight home. I'd call on the police. I don't want to see you. I don't want to be reminded of how many times you've betrayed my family. I didn't. You I betrayed didn't. your own father right before he died. I've often wondered if that didn't kill him. No, Daddy. Daddy loved me. He would have forgiven me. You have to earn forgiveness, Iris. And you haven't even started yet. My dear, I can't. I can't stay. This is the absolute last straw for me, Iris. You will never hurt me again. I'm scared. I'm so frightened to be alive. And what about Carl? How do you think he feels? He doesn't know who he is, Iris. I bet that's frightening. No, you need time. You need to sit in there and think about what you've done. <laughs> Where from? I don't know. Some guy delivered. He uh, offered me a hundred bucks to make sure that you get it. But I don't take bribes. It's only flowers. I checked. Thanks for everything, baby. I owe you one.
Iris isn't with you? I've searched everywhere for her. Iris is in jail, Carl. Oh, no. Ah, oh, then they did arrest her. Yes. That chauffeur, does he know the way to the jail? Visiting hours are over. Why didn't the police speak to me first? Why, so you could tell them that you don't mind that she shot you? You don't understand, Rachel. You, you just don't understand. Yeah, you're right. I don't understand anything about any of it. Oh, Stop do, it, do please. Think, do you think this is easy for me? Oh, I'm coping day by day, just like you. I don't like the circumstances of my life any, just, just like you. But, but I've had to start over. I'm like an infant, I'm like a baby. I have to carve out a niche for myself. I, I have to find a place. Do you have any idea how hard it is to be told what your life was like before? And to feel? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I'm sorry, I just can't go another round with you tonight. You suggest, huh? Rachel. I hurt you deeply, you see. What you think? That I've never mind you. I don't know what your intentions are anymore. I don't even think you do. Perhaps you don't. And what I said earlier about feeling. wasn't completely true. I'm sorry. Did you hear me coming back? Would it make you happy to have the Carl that you knew back again? Yes, of course it would. But, but I don't know how. I've, I've only had flashes. What kind of flashes? Well, it's nothing that I can, I can distinguish. It's nothing that I can picture. An example would be when I picked up that chess piece. I knew what it was. I knew exactly what it would do, could do. And yet I have no recollection of ever having played the game. Do you see how frustrating that is? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, if only you... If only you could remember what we had. Is it good? Yes. Very. Rachel, I, I don't know how. You can do it, Carl. You're the strongest man I've ever met. You just need to give yourself a chance. I fail. We fail. But we're not going to fail. I won't let you. Maybe you can't throw your business, your family away, your company, on a man who has no memory. I mean, that, 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 would, that would be absurd. No, it's love. And it's here for you whenever you want it. Please, Rachel, please, please help me. Detective Ryan Harrison of the Bay City Police Department reported... And, uh, respects me. She... If you... I've told you that all along. That's not going to change.
be some sort of comfort, and I was hoping that you could do something about it. Very good. I don't know how to say this, but it tires. Being somehow wounded, flawed. And I, I felt exactly the same since I came around. Possibly at some level that was part of your trauma. She's been using you. She didn't want you to remember anything so she could destroy this family, and I believe that she would have come back after you. But, but Iris was my friend. She really hate me, Mother. She shot you, darling. She shot you. For a company, for pieces of paper and dollars and cents. That's all your life meant to her. I think she wanted to prevent you from marrying me because she wanted me. But she's a woman, I think. And you're safe knowing that. The only one who looks at me like that. You're a nice girl. But I don't know why. That was very nice. Thank you. That was pointless. I, I shouldn't have done that. It's been, it's been a difficult day. Yes. Good night. Rachel, Rachel, please. You're more than I bargained for. And I'm no bargain at all. Graham, he just left. Where is Carl? I don't know. We were just standing here a couple minutes and, and he's missing. He took a suitcase and some clothing. He's gone. What happened? Did you guys have another fight? No, or we something? didn't have another fight. I blew it and I, I'm afraid I frightened him. Where do you think he's gone to? I, I don't know. There's no telling in his condition. Carl? Carl? Actually, yeah, we've, we've, we've checked every single one of the hotels around here, all the motels, the, the bus depot, the train stations, we've got everything. We've to find him. We will, I promise. I'm frightened for him. He's out there wandering around. He doesn't know who he is. He could get hurt. I understand. Rachel, there is, there is one other consideration. What? Carl might have been kidnapped. What? And who would have done this, Iris? Oh, by the same person who hired Barry, of course. That was you, Iris. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. You listen to me. I, too, have been threatened by this man that Barry was working for. And you can prove this. Well, yeah, I think I can. Last night in jail, I received these flowers, these roses with this, this threatening note. Thanks for everything, baby. I owe you one. That's it? That's your proof? One call to a florist, and you can put all of the responsibility for your actions on some phantom, Iris? Rachel, um, 
It's easily checked out. I'll, I'll check on the flowers. Okay, thanks. Let me know what you find out. Yeah, good luck. Rachel, someone is determined to see Carl dead. They masterminded the whole plot, and it wasn't me. It's really hard for me to believe anything you say anymore, Iris. Miss Corey. Hi. How are you, Dana? Miss Wheeler. You are the first case on the docket, and your attorney is waiting for you in the courtroom. Fine, I'm ready. Let's just get it over with. Brothers, bring the bench, please. Recess of the morning. This is a motion uh, hearing. Oh, uh, hello. Um, are you the lady that spotted Carl Hutchins? Yeah, yeah, I am. But, uh, Brother Carl's not here anymore. Brother Carl, where did he go? He's doing God's work, preaching the good news to the poor. We'll be landing in Chicago on schedule, sir. Approximately 30 minutes. I was hurting. Fundraiser went well. I don't see how it could have gone any better in spite of the power failures. You had a black man, says I'm sure you've noticed that air conditioning still is not working. But in spite of it all, and maybe because of it, the funds, the money kept flowing in our direction. Well, Dad is very lucky to have you in charge. Oh, he's a magnet, Rachel. He always has been. It seems to be what Amanda thinks. Tonight is a triumph for Granny. And in more ways than one, Rachel, you will be free. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good news your sister tells me about. Well, why, why don't you tell me? Well, no, you tell the truth. <laughs> All right, I'm delighted to announce that I've finally convinced Amanda into setting a date for our wedding. Oh, oh, oh God. Well, it's about time. Congratulations to you both. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank oh, it's you, Rachel. wonderful, Amanda. Thank I wish you all the best. New news that I've heard in a yeah, long time. Well, he was heading into the community right? center not so long ago. You know, hearing you speak about the need... I mean, what's extraordinary about this woman, this individual, is that, that in spite of the pain that my behavior caused her, in spite of the difficulties I, I put her through, she still took me in. Now, that's love, isn't it? That, that's forgiveness. I found myself to be unworthy. And in that deepest part of me, alone. We hear you, brother. Thank you, brother. So I stand before you now at the end of a harrowing journey. You see, I've set out alone. I, I left the, the shelter and the protection of that good woman. And last night, I was set upon by a thief far more desperate than I. I was struck right here with, with a tire iron. And yet I awakened. I survived yet again. Why? I'll tell you why. Because today, I heard the story of Saul's conversion 
on the road to Damascus. And in an instant, I knew, I knew why my memory had been taken from me, why my past life had been erased, so that I could be reborn. I believe, I believe I've been given this chance to start over, that it's a part of a plan, a divine plan that I could never have predicted. And certainly my old self would never have accepted. It was that plan that brought me here tonight, to hear the words of your good shepherd, to see the love that his words evoke, and to know that forgiveness is available to all of those people who seek it. how I stand before you now, ready to accept my mission. I'm ready to do your work, brother. Praise be. Yes, praise be. Darling. I'm rejoicing the fact that you're not dead. But I've been born again. Uh, listen, uh, Carl, Rachel and I, we want, we want to take you home. I am home, Ryan. No. No, Carl, you're, this, is, this isn't your home. Look, you've, um, you've been hurt. I think you need some help. My great need now is to serve. I hope you'll understand this, Rachel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the lady I was talking to you about. Carl. Rachel. Rachel, I think I've found a calling. Oh, darling. Um. Darling, you've been hurt. And, and we need to see to that. You know? I think I'm seeing clearly now for the very first time. This blow, this blow should have killed me. It didn't. It didn't for a reason. Because I have a purpose here now. I have a mission to fulfill. Um, Carl, why don't, why don't you go outside with us and you can tell us what that mission is? We'd really love to hear what the mission is. Yes. Yes, indeed, the shepherd will tend his flock wherever they may stray. Before we go, could we, could we say a prayer? Yes. Could we, hmm, please, could we bow our heads, close our eyes? Yes, you too. Oh, he's gone. And the lambs shall follow the shepherd. I'm in yours. I'm in your hands. Wherever I may be of service. What is happening to you? What has happened to you? Please don't leave me. Please don't give up on us. You make such a good son. Where's the help? What if... What if you never come back? I don't want to go on without... Carl? Carl?
Myself again. Carl, do you remember that someone was trying to kill you? Yes. Yes, I, uh, I think I'm aware of that. Are they the ones that did this to you, too? No, no. No, no, no. No, I was, I was struck down by a force of nature. It was a lightning bolt. Oh, my God. I was too close. Moment, I thought I was going to die. Oh, I was paralyzed, screamed. There was no sound. Then I saw your face, heard your voice say, "Wake up, wake up." And that's when you knew. That's when I was no longer afraid. Do you remember anything else about the wedding? Confusion, yelling. All I could think of was cover Rachel, protect Rachel. Carl, did you see the person who shot you? Yes. I was clearly as if she was standing in front of me right now, clutching the weapon, aimed directly at me. Were that Iris was the one who shot you? Deadly, sure. Deadly. He said that she pointed and shot right at him. That certainly proves intent. Could be. At least we have an eyewitness now, and I'll be able to put a little pressure on Iris. Yes, and maybe we'll get some answers now. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Yes, yes. You know, since I first came back to this house from New York, everything seemed cold and unfamiliar, but now it's as if... It's as if with, with each touch, I regain a memory. How much do you remember? Well, the detail, it's all a bit hazy, but the regret is overwhelming. All oh, the pain you must have gone through these past several days, well, well it's weeks, isn't no. it? Between your memory loss and now, nothing matters except that you're back and you're all right. Oh. Yes, I'm all right. I'm myself. Nothing will come between us again. Rachel, uh, the car just pulled up in a driveway. Uh, were you expecting someone? No, I'm... What if it's Iris? Please promise me that you will not let her know that you've got your memory back. Please promise me. I that. have every right to confront that two-faced, hypocritical Listen little... Listen to me. Listen to me. Suppose she still wants you dead. Suppose she's working for the people that did this to you. We can't go through that again. Rachel? Rachel, we have to... Oh, I'm so glad they found you. I'm delighted that you're safe. Chris, my sweet, <laughs> I've missed you. Oh, it's wonderful. Where'd you find him? Rachel, the man disappeared. Yes, and that's because I'm here. You're no longer welcome here. Rachel, I know you can't stand it. Yeah, well, you got that right. But I bared my soul to this man. I've become very close these past few weeks. You've become my confidant and my friend. And it's 
very important to me that you believe my innocence, and I know it deep down in your heart. You know that I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. Iris, why in the hell are you here? Because I thought if Carl had returned, I might be able to have a moment alone. Absolutely not. You need to rest, and you need to leave. Carl, I need you to talk to the DA for me. I want you to tell him to drop the tough charges. Now, why would Carl do something like that, Iris? Because without Carl's cooperation, there is no case against oh. me. Who told you that? Carl, I want you to use your power and your influence to follow your through to me. This is really low, Iris, even for you. The man has a voice, Rachel. Let him speak. Carl, I know that you think too much of me. So you decided to go along with Rachel's plan? Yeah. Why not? It appears that way. Is it? Yeah. Why? She sent Tessie out to learn about you. Now, Rachel may be afraid of Iris, but I know that you're not. No? Nope. No. How about these? Willpower it took not to just tear Iris apart. When she put her skinny arms around me, I thought I was going to suffocate. Well, I now know what a fine actor you are. Listen, um, I've got to get back to the office. Why don't you take the evening off? I don't think I can. I wish I could, but I can't. Thank you. So now, um, it's good to have you back. Thanks, Len. Darling, please don't tell anyone you've got your memory back. It, it would only make it an open invitation to harm you again, and I can't... I can't go through that again. I don't have the strength. You underestimate yourself, Rachel. You have the strength of a crusader and the bravery. Rest assured. I will look after myself. I won't give myself away. Where we're going, you won't be able to. Uh-huh. And where may that be? Where is that? Oh, yes, a very special place. We can go to be alone. No one will know us there. And we'll be well, safe. go off someplace with a pushy woman like you. Oh, come on, bring on the blondes. See that? Amnesia. That Don't will. do that to me. <laughs> I know I'm asking a lot of you. It's not going to be easy to play it safe. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything will be easy if you're in my arms. You know, I've, I've missed all of this. Mm -hmm. So you do remember, this. huh? Well, I'm not sure. Oh, dear. Well, what say we, uh, what say we go inside, bar all the doors and windows, go upstairs, and you uh, teach me how to remember. Public, I could see the magic. If you could give me such a year and a half. 
I don't want to live like that, and neither do you. I'm very happy with you, Ronnie. I mean, how can I be chairman of the board of Corey Enterprises and I don't even remember my secretary's name? Amanda can do it for you. Oh, please, darling, just stay out of it until until Ryan and the police have figured out who's doing this to you. Rachel, you don't understand. I must help you out. You can't just stay out of it until Rachel. Please stay out of it until until Ryan knows the extent of the danger you're in. You win. Yeah, I can't deny you anything. No, promise. Promise me you'll stay home today. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. You know, you, you sound just like Ralph Perrineau. All right, I promise. I will not go to the capital. Well, that's not very comforting. Comforting in one comfort, let's go back to the 